Welcome to ISTV News. This is Panorama giving you the news. First, the top stories. Vice President of India, Hamid Ansari, likely to come to Manipur on April 2. Chief Secretary, DZP, officials in SPEC sites, Vice President is likely to visit in Imphal. And procession of NCC cadets, volunteers in connection with mega mock drill flag off by Chief Secretary. The news in detail. Vice President of India, Hamid Ansari, is likely to come to Manipur on April 2. According to reports received by the ISTV News, the Vice President is tentatively scheduled to arrive in Imphal on April 2 and leave for Delhi the next day. During his two-day sojourn in Imphal, Hamid Ansari will meet the Governor of Manipur, Chief Minister and other top officials and discuss the steps taken by the State Election Authority to ensure a free and fair and peaceful conduct of the ensuing Lok Sabha elections. The Vice President will also witness cultural programs and exhibition to be held at the auditorium of Jawaharlal Nehru Dance Academy. In connection with the Vice President's visit to Manipur, State Chief Secretary P.C. Lamkunga, DZP Manipur Sahid Ahmed, Principal Secretary Works Ram Muiver, Chief Engineer of PWD L. Lokin, etc., visited the sites to inspect the improvement works. Chief Secretary Lamkunga also visited the Jawaharlal Nehru Dance Academy to inspect the repairing works going on there. A team of officials of the academy led by Director L. Upendra gave the Chief Secretary's team a briefing on the needs of the academy. Chief Secretary instructed the officials concerned to complete the repairing works one week before the Vice President's arrival. Lam Kunga said Vice President's visit has not yet been officially confirmed. The official itinerary of the visit has also not been received. They have only heard that the BP is likely to come. That's why they were inspecting the repairing works so that the works could be completed in advance, he said. The inspection of uh, this academy to see necessary uh, works that can be taken up for renovation or for improvement of the physical nature of the political academy auditors. Uh, it will take uh, at least uh, one month. And this has not been confirmed. Yeah. This already has not been confirmed. We are expecting him. But we have not been able to assign the actual date. Yeah. But he will not be able to, to stay for many days. No confirmation from our office. office. Yeah. Understanding is there, but still <laughs> no confirmation. At least 20 security personnel are feared killed in a fire encounter with Naxals in Chhattisgarh's Sukma district today. There were 44 personnel from the Central Reserve Police Force CRPF and Chhattisgarh Police in the road opening party when it was attacked by over 200 heavily armed Naxals. Those killed include 15 CRPF men and 5 belong to the State Police Force. The encounter is taking place near the Jiram Ghati area of Sukma and has been going on since Monday evening. According to police sources, the Naxals overpowered a group of 40 police and CRPA personnel at a site where construction was going on a rot. Sukma is where Naxals had killed top Congress leaders in an attack in May 2013. Investigators in Malaysia are voicing skepticism that the airliner that disappeared early Saturday with 239 people on board was the target of an attack U.S. and European government, sources close to the probe said. The fate of the Malaysian airliner that vanished about an hour into a flight to Waising remained a mystery as the Masip Air and Sea Search, now in its third day, failed to turn up any trace of the Boeing 777 plane. Neither Malaysia's special brands, the agency leading the investigation locally, nor spy agencies in the United States and Europe have ruled out the possibility that the militants may have been involved in Dowing Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. But Malaysian authorities have indicated that the evidence so far does not strongly back an attack as a cause for the aircraft's disappearance and that mechanical or pilot problems could have led to the apparent crash, the U.S. sources said. 
Meanwhile, the search for the missing Malaysian airline flight MH370 has made some headway as Malaysian officials have identified one of the passengers travelling with a stolen passport. They said one passenger travelling with stolen passport has been identified as a 19-year-old Iranian Poria Noor Muhammad Meherdat who was believed to be trying to illegally migrate to Germany. The officials said that the approach was focused on the stolen passports and were probing a hijack and subotis angle. The officials are still trying to identify the second individual. The officials said they do not think that the Iranian asylum seeker belong to any terror outfit, but they are conducting a background check. Chief Secretary of Manipur PC Lamkunga today flagged off a procession of NCC cadets and volunteers of civil organization from the Office of Disaster Management Babupara in connection with the earthquake mega mock drill to be held on March 13 in Imphal and Thawal districts. The procession is organized to spread awareness among the people on the mega mock drill that will conduct a demonstration on how to rescue victims of earthquake or any other disaster. The mock exercise is going to be organized in an elaborate manner by the Disaster Management Institute, Government of Manipur, in collaboration with the National Disaster Rescue Force. Chief Secretary Lamkunga said the mega mock drill is going to be held at various places of Imphal and Thobal districts following instructions from the Government of India with regard to taking precautionary measures before any natural disasters such as earthquake occurs in the state. The rescue exercise will be held in other districts as well, the Chief Secretary said. Northeastern states uh, are lying on the John 5 of uh, Himalayan earthquake area. So the government of India is so concerned that uh, we should have this preparation for any calamity. This time round we are uh, focusing only on earthquake. Natural calamity can be of any form. Earthquake, cyclone, tsunami, flash flood, landslide also, and the building collapse, everything. But this time uh, we are focusing on how we best uh, manage this uh, possible disaster as a result of earthquake. Association of RIMS alumni has strongly condemned the life attempt on Dr. Taruni, Professor of Medicine RIMS, by Ms. Cranes on the 7th of this month at her private clinic at Uripo Canteen Road. In a press release, the association prayed for speedy recovery of the injured and return to her profession of service to humanity. Manipur Electricity Employees Union drew the attention of the authorities concerned for payment of the daily wages of muster roll, work charts and casual employees of minor irrigation and other engineering departments up to the month of February 2014. A Komloop appealed to the people not to celebrate Yao Sang festival more than five days. The loop also appealed for minimizing the expenditure and waste of time during the festival. Residents and Meira Paibis of Moirang Hanuba Lairak state a sit-in protest at the Lairak machine of the same Laikai demanding punishment of the accused PH boy who brutally stabbed his maternal aunt Fairoism Kundale Madebi to death as per law and compensation for the victim's family at the earliest. The protesters held placards showing, we condemned the killing of Kundalema, eradicate drugs from the soil, and hang PH boy to death. Talking to the ISTV News, convener of coordination committee, Mema Devi, strongly condemned the heinous crime committed by boy and demanded befitting punishment to him. Department of Texas Manipur has introduced the E-Way Bill to overcome the problems faced by dealers while importing and exporting goods. The department under the aegis of NIC held a dealer training on E-Way Bill module at Hotel Nirmala today. E-Way Bill will be implemented from March 15 in the state. Assistant Commissioner of the Department R.K. Kurkisor and Superintendent of Texas Y. Indrakumar inaugurated the function. Experts from NIC explained 
to the dealers in detail on how to use the e-way bill. RK Kurkisor said, with the introduction of the bill, time and money consumed to pay road tax on import and export and while taking interstate transit pass will be ended. The department will also try to introduce e-payment system. The e-way bill module which is introduced under the mission mod project computerization of taxes will reduce the confusion of people on accountability and transparency of taxes. It will help the dealers to pay the road tax while sitting at home. He further said, the tax can minimize the wrongdoings of dealers while paying tax. <laughs> Well, that's the end of our evening bulletin. But before we end, the top stories once again. Vice President of India, Hamid Ansari, likely to come to Manipur on April 2. Chief Secretary, DZP officials inspect sites. Vice President is likely to visit in Imphal. And procession of NCC cadets, volunteers in connection with mega mock drill, flag off by Chief Secretary. Thanks for watching our news and for more updates, please stay tuned.